Well, I do have a family coming in at 1.30, though. For Jonathan Bullitt, as the name might suggest, it's all about hitting the target. Was that for uh, Jenkins? His 11-year-old business, Bullet Print Solutions, based in Country Club Hills, will print everything from posters to pamphlets and menus to memorials. We do print. It's not just uh, programs. Um, I've done uh, wedding invites. Uh, we do three-part copies. We do uh, for, like, uh, uh, doctor's offices. Uh, I've done plenty of things for churches, uh, weddings, uh, just any type of print. The 35-year-old grew up in Richland Park. As a high school student at Rich South, he would design flyers and banners for clubs and parties. He had a natural talent for graphic design and perfected it, taking classes in college but he majored in business at NIU. The two passions came together when a cousin passed away, and he was frustrated by the mundane look of the funeral program. And I was just like, man, I could definitely make this, I wanna make something special for my family member who passed away. So that's been my goal um, and how I started the whole business. The funeral director took notice and his business took off. He started focusing on creating high quality programs for funerals. Heavy card stock. Sort of keepsakes that will tell the story of a person's life in words and pictures. Then this spring, the pandemic changed the way we grieve. Public health requirements limited large gatherings to limit the spread of the coronavirus. The pandemic, um, a lot of people needed to get the service viewed. For a while, funerals were restricted to 10 people. Now that number has eased to 50, but it's still not enough for everyone who might want to say goodbye. So the pandemic forced this printer to pivot. We wanted to start being able to let the people that can't make it to the service be able to view it from um, a platform. Now he's printing programs and also streaming services. But I want to make sure I can take care of each family that that needs the services. Bullet says he employs seven people, but he may need a few more workers. He says business is booming right now, and he hasn't had a day off in nearly a month.